A sleeping giant beneath the Pacific is stirring, and it's ready to blow far beneath the surface of the Pacific Ocean. Some 300 miles off the coast of Oregon, a restless giant is waking up. Axiosima, an enormous undersea volcano roughly a mile wide and nearly a mile deep, is showing unmistakable signs that it's gearing up for another explosive display, and scientists are on high alert. Researchers with the National Science Foundation's Ocean Observatories Initiative have been monitoring the imminent underwater eruption and now say the volcano is bloating like a balloon filled with lava. According to William Chadwick, a volcanologist and research professor at Oregon State University, Axial Seamount is acting like a Hawaiian volcano and will spew more than a billion cubic feet of very fluid lava weighing millions of tons at any given time. Lava tends to bubble between eruptions. At Axial, the seafloor is actually rising, and that's a big signal, Chadwick said. In recent weeks, there has been a significant increase in earthquakes beneath the seamount caused by magma pushing up to the surface. The Axial seamount last erupted in 2015, triggering about 8,000 earthquakes, producing a 450-foot-thick lava flow and causing the seafloor to sink nearly 8 feet. William Wilcock, a professor and marine geophysicist at the University of Washington, warned that the axial seamount could erupt tomorrow. Located along the Juan de Fuca Ridge, a chain of undersea volcanoes that stretches between Oregon and Alaska, the axial seamount is a young shield volcano, a broader volcano with a lower profile. Based on the 2015 eruption, Chadwick said this year's magma explosion could produce a lava flow nearly as tall as the Space Needle in Seattle. However, if the axial seamount erupts in the next few days, experts say it would not pose a threat to communities along the West Coast. The eruption is too deep and far from the coast for people to notice it, and it has not yet caused any seismic activity on land. Although few people have felt the tremors, the region has seen a sharp increase in earthquakes in just the past month with a major spike in activity recorded on April 13. The number of daily earthquakes beneath the seamount has been increasing since May 6. The number of undersea earthquakes is expected to skyrocket during this event, increasing from a few hundred per day currently to 10,000 earthquakes in a 24-hour period as magma flows out of the seamount, according to Interesting Engineering. Mike Poland, a scientist at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, expressed excitement about the eruption, noting that Axial Seamount is one of the most closely watched undersea volcanoes in the world. It's probably the most closely watched undersea volcano in the world, he told the Cowboy State Daily. It's exciting, and it doesn't really pose a threat. Despite scientists' growing anticipation, Axial Seamount's next eruption is likely to surprise anyone who's been tracking it. Wilcox's best guess is that the swelling lava will finally erupt in late 2025 or even early 2026, but it's possible it could happen sooner. Scott Newmere, a professor of geophysics at the University of North Carolina Wilmington, told NBC News, it's a lot harder than forecasting the weather, although weather is already a very difficult thing to forecast. There's still a lot we don't understand about what triggers eruptions and how magma moves beneath the Earth's surface, he added. Eruptions from Axial Seamount have been recorded in 1998, 2011, and 2015, and the volcano has undoubtedly erupted many times before this event, Poland said. In November 2024, Chadwick began investigating the volcano when he noticed that its surface had swelled to nearly the same height it had reached before its last eruption 10 years ago. The swelling that occurred prior to the 2015 eruption allowed Chadwick and his colleagues to predict that event. This time, the researchers' observations told them that Axial Seamount would erupt before the end of 2025. They also found that seismic activity at Axial Seamount had increased, with hundreds of earthquakes generated around the volcano per day and earthquake swarms greater than 500 per day. Wilcox said the first sign that an eruption from this volcano is imminent would be a sharp increase in the number of earthquakes around it, which the area is now experiencing. 
The team shared their findings at the annual American Geophysical Union Conference in December 2024. This impending eruption will be a major research opportunity for Wilcock and other scientists, who plan to use a suite of high-tech instruments to monitor the eruption from start to finish. The University of Washington's College of the Environment hosts one of the largest underwater observatories in the world, comprised of networks of sensors along the seafloor and throughout the ocean waters. When Axial Seamount finally erupts, Wilcock and his colleagues will use this array to gather data and images of the event as it unfolds. Even though Axial is not a dangerous undersea volcano, the forecasting capabilities scientists have gained from studying it could help them predict eruptions from those that are.